this paint lid to cut a template for an eight inch hole. See that? Little paint lid that measures eight inches. So I'm going to cut this eight inch hole here. And the goal is to get rid of the scuppers that are in the back, put an access panel here so that I can properly work on that. Started tearing out this scupper yesterday that I need to get on the inside to get it out completely. So I'm just gonna get rid of it all together. I'm gonna fiberglass the inside and the outside and seal this up, try to make it look as factory as I can. And then put a bilge pump on the inside and put some type of a drain plug or something somewhere like here and have, have it shoot the water out through there and see if that can help me keep this H skiff dry. I think that's a great spot for an access hatch. All right, let's get to cutting. All right, so we got one of the scuppers completely broke free. See in here, I had to break some of the foam and stuff that really holds everything in place. I just finished using a little Dremel here and I was able to get all the old caulk off, which it'll look like this. This one I was able to take out more carefully after having a fight with this one. But I found a really cool, uh, I believe it's kind of like a drain valve. So look how clean this is gonna look, drain plug. So I'm gonna close it off with this, seal it up real nice. And I think it's gonna look beautiful. Stainless steel, two of them. And uh, I'm gonna just seal them off that way. I was gonna fiberglass this shut, but I'm gonna start with this and see if this works. I think it will. If I can get a nice tight seal, then I don't have to worry about fiberglassing this. And I'll always have the option of using this in the future should I ever wanna try something um, like adding new scupper valves or anything like that, which I highly doubt. I think I'd rather this just be closed off. I wanna put a bilge pump on the inside use only one of them as a active scupper, which I'll use that one for an emergency situation, which I doubt I'll ever need. So, all right, I'm gonna keep at it. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, here's the first install. So I think it looks so much better than when I had this big plastic ugly thing on there with the ball. I think that looks clean. Yep, stainless steel, so it matches the stainless steel on the boat. Well, if I can say so myself, I, I think it came out pretty good. That's the way it looks. Really clean. Oh yeah.